I'm Chef Mike Moses, your family's personal chef, and welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so the holidays are coming up, you need to make some appetizers. I've got a really unique one for you. Asparagus wrapped in beef and some onions. All that is coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of these, please subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. Are you ready? Let's get our mise en place done. First thing we need to do, take the rubber bands, hop up the asparagus, and I'm going to use an asparagus peeler. This is a really neat device that I got, oh, probably about six or seven years ago. It saves me a lot of time and a lot of effort. Helps me peel my asparagus perfectly. So I'm gonna lay out my asparagus and I'm gonna pick the best spears. And then all you do, take your peeler. And go down each side. You wanna leave about two inches on the top. We'll do some more here. We'll just cut off the bottom. And we have our asparagus spears ready to be wrapped. We're gonna saute those in some garlic. Two cloves of garlic should do. Smash your garlic, that way they peel very easily. Again, you don't wanna waste anything. These garlic peelings and ends, we'll put those in our stock. So what we wanna do now is just chop up our garlic. Always have handy dandy little bowls to put it in. And now we'll finally chop our shallot. Because I'm making an asparagus stock, I'm going to save all the ends, all the skins. They're all going to go into the stock. So have a garlic, our shallots, our asparagus, and our beef. See, the beef is almost paper thin for fondue. Actually, we're gonna use three slices per asparagus. We're gonna blanch the asparagus first, get that cooked almost three quarters of the way. Then we're gonna take it out, let it cool, then we're gonna wrap it with our beef, and then we're gonna saute it. A little bit of salt to season your water. This will also help preserve the uh, green color of the asparagus. All right, our salt and water is at a rolling boil, so I'm gonna put in my asparagus beers. They're only gonna go in for about two minutes. Make sure everything gets covered. All right, it's been about two minutes. We're gonna take them out of the uh, water now, put them on a paper towel, let them dry. They've got a gorgeous green color. And we wanna save the water if you're gonna make asparagus soup, which I am going to do. So I'm gonna save my water to add to my stock. Okay, time now to wrap our spears in the beef. What we're going to do is take our three slices of beef. You know it's very thin. One on the top, one on the bottom, and one in the middle. Okay, you've got your beef laid out, you wanna season it. Lightly on the salt. and the pepper. And then we roll another asparagus. We're gonna bring our pan up to heat again. This time we're gonna use some olive oil, just about a tablespoon. That's so that the shallots and the garlic can get nicely cooked. Okay, I can smell the olive oil, time to add the shallots. going. Again, a little bit of seasoning. Shallots don't take very long, just until they start to turn translucent. Then you want to add your garlic. You want to make sure the garlic's cooked, so this is going to be in about another minute or so. Okay, shallots and garlics are cooked. Time to add our asparagus spears.
we want to cook them on all four sides. Now I can pull out the toothpicks, makes them easier to roll around. And you can tell when the underside is done and you can start to see the beef change color on the way up. And we're just going to quarter them, flip them over by a quarter. Another few seconds like that and flip them over again. Just a quarter. Remember, this is very, very thin beef. It does not take long to cook at all. Okay, turn off the heat and get ready to serve. Take your garlic and your shallots and you spoon them over the hors d'oeuvres, right in the middle. And there we have some beef wrapped asparagus, a little bit of cilantro on the side with some shallots and garlic, all ready for a nice finger food appetizer. Here's how you eat them. Your guests, of course, take them up. You always have to go for the spear first. Mmm. Oh. So good. And you'll see the beef is cooked all the way through. I hope you enjoy these. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog, where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.